Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today it's time, finally, time to do more Nightwish. Uh, I've only seen Ghost Love Score and it was so amazing. I have listened to that song so many times since. It is just an adventure. I, I'm just so excited. So I'm very, very pleased to be able to enjoy more, more Nightwish today. And today it's uh, The Poet and the Pendulum. And this is the performance from Wembley 2016, also with Floor singing. Um, also, I'm really considering to watch Ghost Love Score um, with other uh, lead singers, because as I have heard from you, from the Nightwish Army, you have told me that uh, they have different um, lead singers, and I have a hard time imagining somebody being more appropriate and fit for this than Flo, um, but uh, I have to see because I can tell that this band is amazing and they wouldn't like allow somebody who is not amazingly talented to, to join in as far as I can imagine. So I will also uh, probably do a reaction to that. So please let me know what uh, lead singer I should, um, I should go for next. Um, yeah, so, but uh, this is the Poet and the Pendulum and there's not much else to say other than let's get into it right away. Let's go. Already love it.
freaked again and again and again. I know I will die alone, but loved. You live long enough to hear the sound of guns. Long enough to find yourself screaming every night. Long enough to see your friends betray you. For years, I've been strapped under this altar. Now I only have three minutes of counting. I just wish the tide would catch me first.
Thank you. This is incredible. I mean, where to begin? Where to begin? So her, like, the lead singer's voice is amazing. I saw even more dimensions of her voice in this performance, and I thought I saw a lot in Ghost Love Score, but this was just next level. Um, also, I just her her presence, her charisma, her her I just feel like her love I don't know why I feel like using that word but she's just so like she's just this big <laughs> energetic mom who just takes us in and she just embraces all sides like her shadow sides darkness whatever and she's just very inspiring I, she's just something magical about her, definitely. I, I will think about how to put that into words, but I really feel like, ah, oh, connected um, to her. And also, you heard some of the other um, other guys from the band sing. Absolutely loved it. You can hear hear one of them was singing along with with the lead singer, and then uh, one of the guys who also plays played the guitar. Uh, he had like a verse. Um, totally awesome uh, that they also join the vocal uh, part of the song and again the arrangement is just like through the roof at the beginning of the song I was actually doubting if I had started the right video uh, because I was like no this can't be this sounds like like a soundtrack to a, like an adventure movie or something but they totally blow me away, both with their performance, their presence, their love for music, their talent, their way, their ability to just gather people and create this intense feeling of belonging, and also just um, the music itself is just amazing. Uh, and also it was super intense, I went through so many emotions and this was kind of dark I remember that some of the someone told me that this song was about um, depression, um, and I could just uh, there were there, there went some time some time passed by in the song before I recognized that oh wasn't this song about oh that this is this song about depression because I could see that just the words they used the lyrics the 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 music also the the waves the water in the background the visuals beautiful by the way. It all kind of pointed in that direction, and uh, yeah, it's no secret that, that I have also dealt with that um, earlier on. And I work with people basically every day and get help them get rid of that depression. So this was just so very intense and close to me, um, and it was just very beautifully illustrated in all the different layers of the performance and the song, um, the pain and the emotions and. Yeah, basically the the worldview you have when you are in the state, uh, beautiful, dark, uh, raw, super artistic. Like again, again, this is totally a work of art. A lot of songs in one, um, a symphony, <sighs> a masterpiece. Um, yeah, I'm just totally like overwhelmed uh, by how fantastic this was and how many emotions this performance awoke in me. I oh, I really hope that COVID will be different a year from now so I will be able to go to New York City and see Nightwish perform. That would be absolutely amazing. I can, I mean, I can't even, I have a hard time comprehending how intense and amazing that must be to just see them perform live because i can all the intensity is just so high 
or just watching them uh, perform on this recording, but oh man, the thought of being there and be a part of the crowd. Again, you saw a few like snippets of, of the crowd and it must just be amazing uh, to be a part of this. They really have like, they, I just feel like they really, this band is just really able to, in an extremely artistic and beautiful and welcoming and accepting way to express something I think that most people deal with and can understand and it's just gathering uh, people across the world. Um, this is just, this is how to be a human. <laughs> We are in, we are all in this together, um, kind of. That's the that's the energy I get from this band, and I think it's uh, it's huge. It's huge to be able to convey that. Uh, I have so much respect for these people. I have so much love for these people. It's I I totally adore them. Whoa, um, yeah, the greatest uh, song on earth. Maybe I think it's the name of the next Nightwish song that I will react to. I, I mean, I can't stop now. I can't. <laughs> ah, thank you so much for recommending this song. Let me know if you can, if you actually know what I'm saying, and if you agree in anything that I I feel and have observed from this performance. And also let me know um, what other Nightwish songs you would recommend. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, yep. I I just have to like really chew on this. Just I feel like this was a legit experience, um, and I really have to digest it. So much happened, and I can still feel like I'm all kind of puzzled. Some some you know they just move things around inside of me, and now I need to like center myself around it. Um, oh, what a ride! Love, I love them, and. I love you, I thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you soon. Oh, you can subscribe if you haven't already and like if you think it's worth it and then um, I will see you. Bye. Mm.